Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to complete the Meet with ENS task on the Hodo Testnet and claim your ENS badge. If you haven't started the Hodo Testnet, check out this video at the top of your screen to help you get started while it's still early. First, make sure you're logged into the Hodo app with your Hodo Testnet address. The next thing to do is to create a new meeting. So make sure you're on the Home tab, click Start a Meeting. So here you will see the option to set your display name. You need to set your ENS name as a display name. So click the pencil icon and you will see a list of your ENS names that are available for you to use. So if you scroll, you will see a list of domains that are supported. So if your ENS name is available, it will show up here. So click on it and you will see the check mark beside the name. Now click outside and click join meeting. So now you are joining the meeting with this ENS name as your display name. So once you join the meeting, make sure to unlock the room by clicking unlock room. And now you can share the link to invite others. So click the copy icon, use this link and invite your friends. So the minimum is two participants who must stay in the meeting for at least 15 minutes. I'm not sure if these two participants include the host. So to be on the safe side, invite at least two people to join this meeting and the meeting should last for more than 15 minutes with those two people in the meeting. Once you've exited the 15 minute mark with a minimum of two participants in the meeting, you can end the meeting and go back to verify. But what if you don't have an ENS name? If you don't have an ENS name, all you have to do is to get one on OpenSea and it costs less than $0.2. To get an ENS name on OpenSea, visit this link. You'll find the link in the description. So here you will see a collection of several ENS names that are as low as $0.1. So these are several ENS names here. Some of them have some funny names, but it doesn't matter. All you need is just to get an ENS name to use for your meeting. So in this case, you can choose any of these names that you want. Click on it. And here you can see the ENS name here. Click buy now. Accept the signature request in your wallet and the ENS name will be yours. After paying for the ENS name, it may take a few minutes, may even take an hour for the ENS name to reflect on your HODL app. So be patient if you are trying to join a meeting and you don't see your ENS name. Wait for about one to two hours for it to reflect on the HODL app. Once you've ended your meeting, log into your HODLverse and click Quest Arena. So here in the Quest, search for ENS. Click the card here and click the verify button and it will verify the task. The next thing to do is to claim your ENS badge. So to do that, click claim ENS badge and you will see the badge will be available for you to claim. So click claim, click mint and accept the approval request in your wallet. So now the badge has been minted. So that's how to complete the meet with ENS task on the HODL testnet. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in the comments or in my Telegram group. You'll find the link to the group in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more HODL testnet updates, crypto airdrops, tips, and tutorials. If you haven't completed your Meet with Unlock task, check out this video at the top of your screen to help you get started. In the bonus section of this video description, you'll find a link to some of the hottest test nets. So check it out and join as many of these test nets as possible. So keep claiming huddle points daily from huddle meetings and firehouse spaces. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.